Welcome to Mesquite, Texas. Out here we are on site with LGE Design Build today, we're flying their job with some drones um, and caught a little bit of the lime treatment process that they're dealing with right now. Here in North Texas we have absolutely terrible soil um, as far as the top layer goes. We've got some shale underneath, some rock under that, but overall the soil out here in Dallas and the DFW in the North Texas region is really bad. Um, the reason why it's so bad is because as rain comes in um, and as we get these summer days where it's really dry, what tends to happen is the rain will swell the soil and make it huge like a sponge. And then once it dries out, it'll shrink back, kind of like that crack effect if you've ever seen like a, a desert picture and it's cracked. Same thing, um, the, the, the water will just be gone immediately and it will shrink back down to its old size. And then it will do that over and over and over again until it breaks your foundation to bits. So um, there are really three ways to kind of mitigate that here in the North Texas area. One is to import actual quality soil as your pad. The second is to moisture condition your pad, so taking all your uh, soil and mixing water into it and then compacting it to get your maximum PBR. Your PBR is going to be your potential vertical rise. That's normally within the range of 2 to 15 inches in this area, which is a huge change in elevation when you hear uh, water to soil ratios. Once they mix that soil in there, or that water in with the soil, they will then compact it on lifts until they get their maximum PBR and densities for that. Um, the third option is also to put lime treatment out there. A lot of times you see lime treatment done on fire lanes or paving, um, but a lot of times it's also used on the top of the pad to help give it that firm foundation for the first two to three feet of the pad, and then below that, maybe 12, 15 feet of moisture. So I think that's what they're doing out here. They've got a moisture conditioning process with some of their Volvo excavators going on right now on a different pad. And then they're topping it off with another layer of lime on top. So as you can see, they've got tankers out here filled with that hydrated lime. And that lime was being shipped from a plant far away. They opted to go ahead and put a mobile plant out here on their site. That way they can have easy access to their, their pads at any time. Um, so Loist uh, with the U.S. Lime Company is shipping in large quantities these uh, tankers with the lime to fill up their, their on-site tanks so that they can take it with the trucks that they have on site and dump it on the pad. Once they've got it to the pad, what they've done is they've ripped up the soil on top of the pad with the, the rake of a, of a dozer. That gives it easy access for all that hydrated lime to kind of seep into the soil um, and make it easy to mix. Once they've done that, they lay down that lime, that hydrated lime out of the truck. Then the pulverizer comes in right behind it and mixes that up.
once it's mixed up, they will typically flatten it out, kind of harden it down, um, and then let it cook for about seven days. Um, it's different in different, you know, civil engineers will do you know, five day cook time, three day cook time, seven day cook time, something like that. Um, they will let it sit there and cook over time to really help get that lime into the soil. And then they will come back with the pulverizer later and remix it. Once they remix it, they're able to go ahead and compact it and then be able to uh, blue top it with those or make it a finished pad. So it's a really cool process out here. Hopefully you guys got to see a little bit of it. And uh, if you guys want to ask any questions, throw them down in the comments. Uh, hopefully you guys learned a little bit about the lime process and the soils out here in North Texas.